Hello everybody, welcome to the waking world in the Dream Eaters as we do- Oh, there's a scary spider on this! As we do, um, uh, the next which is Waking Nightmare, the next, uh, encounter. We have Tommy Muldoon, cop in training. We have Diana Stanley, cultist, in Wayne. Unreformed. Yeah. And then we have Mandy Thompson with the biggest deck I've ever seen in this game. It is huge. It's pretty chunky. I have elected to play 50 cards. <laughs> how, what is, how does it work? You could just... They pick uh, so 30, 40, or 50. Nice. Yeah. And like each, each thing <laughs> you pick, it gives you an extra copy of your unique asset. Cool. Yeah. Cool. That's oh, really? Neat. Yeah. Yeah, if you, if you play only 30 cards, you only get to play Sick. one copy of it. Sick. Sick. Do it right. <laughs> Travis, no. take it away. What's happening in the Waking Nightmare? I'll drop my cards on the floor. Intro 1. It has been more than 24 hours since your companions fell asleep. Over the course of the past day, your curiosity has slowly turned to concern and then dread. Uh -oh. The problems began when one of your friends started to toss and turn violently in their sleep, Fisheries. You snapped to attention and tried to shake them awake, but it was to no avail. You tried everything. Physical contact was no use, and Wara did nothing but soak their clothes in bed fruitlessly. Even opening their eyelids did not wake them, and in the process, you noticed their pupils had fully dilated and their eyes were glazed over with a milky white fog. Oh, that's good. You have no idea what this could mean for your friends. Have that's they managed fair. to find their way to the land of Virgil Grey described in his writings, or has something more sinister taken root within their minds and bodies? Just to be safe, you decided to take your companions to St. Mary's Hospital. If something ails them physically, perhaps the doctors there can discern what is wrong. Otherwise, you will simply have to watch over them and hope that they can return well, safely to the waking world. St. Mary's is the only hospital in the town of Arkham and is a fixture of its uptown neighborhood. <laughs> you explain the situation to Nurse Greenberg, the head nurse of the hospital, who instructs several other nurses to carry your companions into the emergency ward on stretchers. She <laughs> tells you with a warm, friendly smile that your friends will be examined by Dr. Maheswaran. But other than that, you were left entirely in the dark. Hours pass. You hear nothing about the status of your companions. You still have not met with Dr. Maheswan, and you're starting to grow impatient. You feel something crawling along your arm, and you instinctively brush it away. The wonder if it was an insect or a figment of your imagination. You begin to question whether bringing your friends here is the right choice after all. Eventually, you decide to take matters into your own hands. It's late at night, and the receptionist who instructed you to stay in the waiting room is nowhere to be seen. In fact, there are eerily few people roaming the halls of the hospital. Oh no. With nobody to stop you, you sneak off to the emergency ward to find your friends. Classic. It does not take long for you to find their room. Your companions lie asleep on clean white cots. Their sleep anything but peaceful. They are pale faced and sweaty. One of them tosses and turns in their sleep, their brow furrowed with pain, with pain or worry. Dr. Maheswaran does not seem surprised by your intrusion. Shivani Maheswaran, she introduces herself coldly without looking up from her clipboard. You're the ones who brought them in, right? Before yeah. you ask, no, I have never seen anything like this before in my life. Oh. She says with a hint of dry impatience. You demand that she tell you everything she knows about their condition and not to give you the runaround. With a sigh, she puts her clipboard down and addresses you frankly. Listen, I may be new to Arkham, but I've seen enough inexplicable, inexplicable maladies in this town to fill entire careers in medicine. I understand why you're concerned. Your friends, she struggles to find the right words. They're not simply asleep, as if they are hovering somewhere between sleep and unconsciousness or even death. They're not aware of anything happening around them, but appear to be reacting to some kind of internal stimuli. Without hesitation, you ask if they're dreaming. Dreaming, Dr. Maheshwan replies. It is unlikely, but it might account for their mannerisms. Honestly, I know this is not exactly reassuring. None of this makes any sense to me, medically speaking. Just then you see a large, hairy spider crawling on the chest of one of your friends. Well, that is odd. Dr. Maheshwan brushes the spider off, and several more emerge from the sheets to take its place. You and the doctor both take several steps back out of pure instinct. You hear heavy footsteps in the hallway outside the emergency ward, and then the lights begin to flicker. Okay, that is more than simply odd. What in the world is going on here? Dr. Maheshwan asks anxiously. For just a moment, you think you hear one of your sleeping companions whisper something. Are they indeed dreaming? And if so, what does their condition have to do with these strange events? Why is this cook so strong? <laughs> So <laughs> Fucking gugs. <laughs> the investigators must decide. We have to either convince Dr. Maheshwaran to come with you while you investigate for her safety and ours, or convince her to stay with the patients and keep them safe while we investigate. Oh, fuck. I'm let's, a cop. Uh, let's split up and look for clues. <laughs> I I'm a cop. I'm going to say she's going to come with us. Come with us? Yeah. Okay. I'm a cop, so. Yes, I suppose that makes sense. There's been no change in their condition for the fa past few hours anyway. 
Dr. Maheshwaran's gaze shifts nervously to and fro, searching for more spires. Also, I'd very much like to get out of this room now, so uh, lead the way. You nod and venture back into the hospital's waiting room. Dr. Maheshwaran. Oh no, I like the. the Dr. Flavor. M. Join the investigation. In the corner of the window, silken webbing creeps along the glass, spun almost of its own accord. Was that there when you first arrived? Dot, dot, dot. Set up. Your control. Cool. An investigator reveals a skull or cult symbol on an infestation token. Remove Dr. Giovanni from the game. Cancel that token and return to the infestation bay. Sacrifice her to the spiders. Yeah, let's, uh, wait, where we start? Do we know what the, uh, I see a bunch of stuff about infestation. Do we not, do we know that yet? No, don't worry about that. Okay, cool. Yeah. Investigator yeah. begins in the waiting room. Yep. No spiders? So there's no, there's no Rougarou. No. A heavy, ominous feeling <clears throat> haunts you as you explore St. Mary's Chomp. Hospital. Its halls are eerily dark and empty of everything but the occasional orderly making the late night rounds. Lights flicker and shadows seem to dart from corner to corner. The hospital's maze of corridors has begun, begun to take on an almost dreamlike haziness. You notice yet another spider crawling up your leg. Brush it away. No! Wondering what it is. What is causing them to appear so often. I hate spiders. I'm just not mulling it. Uh, to do? Something is wrong with your companions. While medical science has come far, it can't account for what has happened to them. You've decided Actually, to take what? upon yourself to figure out what is wrong and set things right. We need 12 clues. Actually, no, I'm going to mulligan everything except for this. I do have... No mulligans. Actually, just almost everything. Mulligan all over everything. Well, I was like, I can find something that helps me find more things, right? No. Uh, I'm going to go. I got a guard dog. Puppy. You think your one basic weakness scares me again? Draw a card. <laughs> Holy shit. I got Becky. Sick. It's Becky. All right, doggy, you ready to die? <laughs> ready to die for bullets? Oh, shit's magic guns. Becky's okay. magical. If you say so. I'll, I'll fire off it prepared for the worst. Wow. How am I supposed to go back to playing with only three actions? <laughs> Instead of like five ish? Five ish I had. <laughs> Man, Tommy Muldoon has doesn't care about his friends that he brings. Huh. He's like, jump in front of this. Thank you. Give me your goo. Go back into my deck. <laughs> yeah, right. We're with. Oh, no. No, he's That's a fine. champ. Brent's Brin, running no weapons in his deck. Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> You're the cultist. Like, all your actions seem totally legit, but there's something <laughs> wrong about them. I'm going to search. <laughs> going to fire a flare. No allies. Wow. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That would be so funny. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna draw a card. Fuck you too, game. <laughs> I'll play this Twilight Blade. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, so I can use my brain. I can your... use my one instead of my three. <laughs> excellent choice. Good. Good I'll point. use my one. But Brent, why? I'll yeah, use my Brent. one again. Yeah. Some magnifying glass. It's fast. Shot of three here, by the way. Yeah, I'm Maybe. gonna investigate. I'm gonna commit Eureka to this. Nice. <laughs> That's what your deck does. Yeah, six to three. Okay, I will look at the top three, and I'm gonna choose to take an additional. Top Ooh, wait a minute. Nah, uh, yeah, I'll just take the. I'll take the additional target on this one. It's so funny if he finds his weakness every time he surges somehow. <laughs> you don't, but the first time you find it, it goes to your disc. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah unless you draw it. If you draw it, yeah. then it shuffles back in. But. Cool. 50 cards, he's never going to find it. I'll fucking take these two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look through a lot of cards. <laughs> Is this like the... Uh, Mr. Rooka can dig for three cards, Justin. <laughs> Is this like going to be like... The normal withers where you're just going to be like spinning and searching and we're just Well, no, I'm going to investigate, but I'm going to try and also do a search effect every turn. Nice. For like one of us. Like I'm going to try and trigger this every turn, sense. but like I'm also going to investigate because my deck has no consistency to it. Yeah. I just took like all the yellow themes and I mashed them together. Amazing. That's great. Like we got these shoot this shoot whatever, yeah, here. Just in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, no, I've got like two of those already. Are you have any actions left or? Oh, yeah, those I can. First, that was your first like, action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Calm down. <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, I'll just like investigate two more times. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, five. Give me a clue. Three. Four. Yeah, you did it. Yeah, yeah, plus one. So six to three. Wow, it's like the card I played this one. Yeah, give me two clues. I'm the best. You cool. guys are welcome. Cards and resources? Yeah, thank you. Sick. That's good for <laughs> you. <laughs> you stupid witch. Uh, bomb. Oh, there's a locked door here. Well, that sucks. <laughs> oh, no. Nah. I'm frozen. I'll put here. this in my basement. Brain 3, that's pretty okay. So how does your basement work again? Uh, we're gonna use... Um, some sort of purple... Yeah, we'll use a purple die for our basement count. Uh, so for each card in my basement... They're like I get plus secrets, one I think. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, how do you put them in your basement? After they I cancel, cancel or ignore an effect. Yeah, okay, right. Uh, limit once per phase. I can, I can have, uh, I can only have five cards under in my basement. Makes sense. I mean, getting six brains pretty sweet. <clears throat> and then you can play stuff out of it with your dagger. Yeah, and the dagger lets me play or commit cards. I vaguely from. remember yeah. that. Lead the way, investigate boy. Oh, um, okay. Well, no enemies appeared, so I'm gonna go into the records office because that's where probably they're keeping the records. That's of just things. good police work. Yeah, I'm a cop. I'm All going right. to the experimental. Word, because that sounds cool. There That's are a shot research. of three, six clues here. If you are not engaged with any enemies, wow, for three actions, you can take four basic investigate actions. For three actions. <laughs> well, Never mind, I'm following you into the records office. Uh, nothing here. We're going to search for a weapon. Just in case. Because we just need something that's a tiny bit smaller. Like, for chance, this. <clears throat> um, and then I'm going to gain a resource and end my turn there. I'll also keep you safe. Yeah, no, um, we're, we're going to be good friends. I'm going to play an emergency cash. Cut cheat. And I'm going to pay two of it for an Olive McBride. She will try anything. Yeah, she's really good. I'm excited to play her with Jim when we do Mono Purple. <laughs> Uh, and then I've got like one more action. I guess like we'll go uh, rummage around over here and see what's in the emergency room where our friends used to be. Maybe there's like a whole ton of spiders here now. When you're revealed, spot, search the encounter oh deck God. for a uh, swarm and Did you look at this card? <laughs> <laughs> While you are here, each of your skill tests gets plus one difficulty for each card committed to it. It has shroud two, clues three, victory one. Cool. Man, between our two, like, our two, both of our things, we got, like, a, a real sitcom group going on. Yeah. I feel like this group is much better prepared than the other group was. Like, yeah. Because we have the clue, the con... I mean, we have totally... No, we have everything. I think both are good. Yeah, because you are the combat. The other one would be better. Yeah, here's our super intense combat. goon. Yeah. You're, like, the chat of the group. We got, like, nerdy goth girl over here. Yeah. I'm, like, the, the smart one. Yep. Yeah. And then we have the Patrice. weird one, the violin one. The yeah, well, the one. musical one. Yeah. And then we have the weird one. <laughs> there you go. No, he's the a stoner. stoner. The stoner. He's stoner. Yeah. He's, and a, then we he's, got, he's shaggy. Yeah. yeah. I'll walk in here. Hey, friends. <laughs> Scooby. <laughs> uh, that's two uh, actions. <clears throat> and then I'm going to spend... This is definitely Fred. Two money. Yeah. yeah. For uh, no stone turns on me, I'm going to get two cards from the top six. Yeah, baby. Fucking sick. It's so stupid. <laughs> it just like found two cards that find me more cards. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's like a backpack in Dr. Ellie. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> uh, I might end up paying eight experience for uh, higher education. And I'll test this in the round three to three. Minus four, eh? Okay. <laughs> Oh, stays. Cards and resources? Okay, guys, this is what I got. Oh, we advanced this. Uh, as you continue to explore the hospital, the oddities you've observed become more and more frequent. Thick, dark cobwebs now cover Thick. the corners of every room. Spiders crawl along the walls and the ceilings, emerging from seemingly nowhere and vanishing just as quickly. It's not just your imagination. An infestation of spiders have taken root within the hospital, and not just any spiders. They are larger than average, with long, jagged barbed legs and great hairy abdomens. 
Perhaps even more worrying is the complete lack of hospital staff roaming the halls. I don't like the art on these. Aside from the several wary and frightened orderlies, you see no other staff members, not even any nurses or doctors. Where is everyone gone? Shuffle the set-aside spiders encounter into the deck, and each set-aside copy of Outbreak into the encounter deck along with the encounter discard pile. Draw the set aside, the infestation begins story card and resolve its text. So, you know, let's shuffle that. <clears throat> Place one damage token location with the most clues, the two locations, if they're with the most clues, if there are three or four investigators in the game. For the remainder of the scenario, damage tokens locations represent the spraying infestation. Each location with a damage token on is an infested location. Create a separate bag consisting of the following tokens. Oh, God. Fuck. What? Uh, if you go to the top drawer, there's that uh, blue bag, which we could use for another chaos bag. Scream. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. This is called Torture Travis, the game. Are we constructing an island deck? <laughs> we are. <laughs> it's an island bag, thank you. Yeah, so we have skull, two cultists, and four tombstones. Thanks, game. Uh, this one says, as a monstrous a presence adjustment. has infested St. Mary's, yeah. it lies it's inside the walls cheap. and watches you from all sides. In mere minutes, it has spun thick, sticky webbing throughout each of the rooms you visit. The lights are either flickering or out <coughs> across the hospital, and some of the more advanced medical machinery is broken and covered in cobwebs. Yeah. Forced at the end of the mythos, make an infestation. Okay, well, it says when you do the infestation test, you draw shit out of there, as you might expect. Uh, skull is set this token aside. Search the encounter deck and discard pile for a spider enemy and spawn the infested location nearest to any investigator. Tombstone is set this token aside. And cultist is set this token aside. Choose a location connected to an invested location. That location becomes infested. Then, if there are two more cultist tokens set aside, return all set aside infestation tokens to the bag. Uh, does this count as revealing a chaos token, or are they infest their infestation tokens? <laughs> <laughs> They're not chaos tokens. Okay. So I can't use all of McBride to no. try to dodge them more efficiently. No, no, no. So we have to do that at the end of the round, and then the, and then the Mythos phase. Okay, cards each. Justin gets spiders. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, you'll take the horror, you stupid witch. I guess we're going to commit some stuff to... <laughs> Check it out. It's in no, only, not. All it cost me was two of the best purple cards in the game in two turns, and I have Lola Hayes stat line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Diana Stanley. I'm nuts. All right, let's draw our first infestation. It is a cultist. Set this token aside. Well, that's not a cultist. That's a tombstone. I'm having a stroke. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm covered in spiders. Uh, so I can spin three things to do four basic investigation actions. Well, I don't good. know if I want to do that. I think I would rather for this turn anyway. Play Dr. Ellie Horowitz and search the top 12 cards of my deck for relic and attach it. Ooh, I could get two though. You could get two. So maybe I'll actually have my deck. Hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna... I really wish I brought the deck list with me. <laughs> I'm gonna search 12 and be safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then I'm more likely to hit my weakness. Yeah, but if you find it, then you don't have to worry about it ever again. Okay. Make strong argument. Yeah, then you're just free to do whatever you want, Mandy. <laughs> Mandy can do anything! Anything you can do. She can do. Discover Oops, a clue at my location. It's like I investigated. It goes, uh, does it go to your hand afterwards? Draw it and discover a clue at my location. Wow, I get to the community. Yeah, you can just shuffle it back into your deck or commit it for a while. Wow. She's good. Mandy seems very strong. Oh my god. And then I have this. <laughs> <laughs> Neat. So you can choose to either search three additional cards or, or get, get, get extra find, get. An, find an extra target of the search. She seems fun. Sick. Seems very fun. Yeah, I saw the neat list that was built around abusing, uh, calling in favors, mm. and being like, I'll find two allies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And play them for X less. Seems good, yep. Yeah, I got that going on in here too, don't you worry. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. You got 50 cards in your deck. You gotta, you gotta fill it some. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's good. Yeah. 
And try to test this first right here. <clears throat> um, minus one. I'll be lucky. I'm done with this. Fair. Hey, Mandy. I don't have to. I have a tooth of Ed's That was a treachery card. Would you like to draw a card? Y yeah. That was a treachery card. Yes. You and I have a solemn vow. If you ever need, if you ever need protection, you can come to me. You can have one of these. Cool. It's like I didn't, I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> right now, thanks, bud. <laughs> you should do that for me. You're welcome. All right, we're gonna just punch a bunch. It's not this bag. We're just gonna punch a bunch of spiders. I feel like I'm gonna need a little more. All right. Four to one. A little more space for this character. One spider, dead. It's gonna go on the bottom. I'm just gonna put it there right now. Let's go again. Oh man. Dead spider. Ah. Ass for ass. <laughs> Eat your heart out. Yeah. Oh, she'd also be very good in your deck. Yeah, like probably. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna gain a resource. No, no, we're gonna play Vandalier. He's gonna punch the dog, and the dog's gonna bite the spider. Uh, in the future, if one of you guys is gonna like prepare for the worst, let me know before you do it. Sure. Because like, if you're in my yeah, location, yeah, yeah. then I can yeah, yeah. you can pick off my ability. Don't worry about it. Like, and this I can just for the worst might not actually be in my deck that much longer. Okay, that's fair. It's good to know because yeah, we're we'll friends. See. We have yeah. a solemn vow. Yeah, for you to take all my horror damage. That's it for me. I'm, uh, I'm gonna draw a card. On my hand. Holy uh, shit. For you, it's more for more so for the meat damage. But <laughs> I'm gonna draw another card. I just I wanted to use it. Yeah, you know? yeah I get you. I want to uh, try it. Out. You're gonna just slowly kill me. <laughs> you guys just saying. No. Stop. Man, dude, I'm dying. <laughs> and we'll play an enchanted blade, I guess. If I use this to put a damage on guard dog, does he bite me? No. Yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Neat little right. feedback loop. Money and card. Oh, I got the 13th vision. Basic <laughs> weakness, you found me. <laughs> and I have to discard down the hand, so I'm just going to be winging it. Um, I'm gonna get rid of one of these guard dogs in my hand. <laughs> I picked red cards that are good to discard so I can throw them away in hand size. Bong, evil card for me is none other than the Foaman Infestation Test. If you're at, ooh, I treat those as skulls. So we want to draw a skull. Gonna find a spider. Uh, okay, so set the token aside. Switching counter deck and discard off our spider enemy and spawn at the infested location. I'm gonna look through. I wanna see what all the spiders are. There's three of these, and there's a spider of Lang. Ooh, spider of Lang. Am I ready for a big boss fight? He's not a big boss fight. Oh, he's, he's, like that, uh, he's like that Zook from the other one that makes the other swarm guys better kind of. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're gonna grab this baby swarm of spiders. Oh, uh, you're good to go when I'm done shuffling, Bryn. <laughs> Joke's on you. <laughs> you shuffle these back in, too? I should. Thank you. Those are kind of soft draws, except for the one that hurts Travis. That's cool. That's cool. Man, I have some really cool yeah, a spider up like item and shit. When the middle phase ends? When the enemy phase ends. Okay, cool, cool, cool. It's not this turn. Yeah, the spider's gonna, they're gonna be dead. <clears throat> Infestation test. After all my cards, hold on. Oh, go for it. I'm gonna peek. Okay, everybody, we're getting minus two fight for or minus two foot for the rest of the round. Sorry. Good, Good choice, Hypnos. Uh, congratulations, everybody. This location is now infested. Oh, we can never get out. Why can't we just walk? I mean, twelve clues. Yeah. Oh my and you're God. halfway there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing a pretty good job. All right. Uh, I guess I'll knife this spider a question. Is the question, why are you so gross? Uh, so we've got plus two, so we have five to three. We'll commit an overpower to it. Haha, -ha, good choice. Me. Take two damage, please. <clears throat> I'll draw a card, please. 
Not you. Man, oh. here it was thinking that the plenty of yellow character was gonna be lame like the other yellow characters. Uh yeah, and then we'll just like run it back. Nah, it's gonna play like a 50 card monstrosity. Oh. You just play this every campaign no. for till forever until new investigators come out and see where it takes me. <laughs> play a different color next time. Ooh. He's dead. Yes. And I get one further action. <clears throat> um, um well, in the emergency room, each your skill test because plus some difficulty for each card committed yeah. to it. Okay. I'm just going to investigate here at 3 to 2, and I'll spin all of it to draw that box. Here, draw three. 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 3 to 2. Three. 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 Right, 3 to 2. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. I, Ooh, that's oh, a good that's one. a good one. Maybe you'll get the auto fail, and you'll choose that for some reason. Oh, I'll take this one. <laughs> Herder, I'll take the zeros and take a clue. I mean, all of them's great. She's very good. She's lucky she passed this test. Yeah. I was gonna chain her to the radiator. Yeah, put her in the basement. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll go. If she yeah, failed, if she spiders. failed, if she not failed this bag. Test, let's it. punch some spiders. We get to we get to play with like four brain instead of Lola brain. Nice. Dead spider. Did you tie? Uh, you fail ties if you're at my location. No, I'm there of one. Thank Kay. you. Good to know. That's dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, I just have nothing else to do right now, so okay. punching spiders is like A-OK -okay for me. But I mean, there's only spiders in this, aren't there? For now. Alright, yeah, we're gonna shoot Becky. We're gonna shoot Becky at the swarm of spiders. Six to one! Minus five. <laughs> Minus one. These two spiders are dead. Uh, I'm going to gain a resource. Uh, that's it for me. Travis, go for it. I'm gonna gain a resource. Oh, do I want to do that, though? No, probably not. Why wouldn't I, though? <sighs> I will just wait for that to happen naturally, then. Um... There's lots of clues, so we don't need to do that. But I will pay and play this backpack search the top six i'm gonna search the top nine for up to three non-weakness i am or supply cards <laughs> Neat. i got me one of these give me a clue <laughs> that's a supply that's a supply good <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> um, man, I got lots of stuff to do with dead turns. Too bad there aren't any of those. <laughs> I'll investigate six to three. I show no. We're just gonna dump through this. Cool. We'll play safe. Cards and resources. And I have to discard the cards. A cards. Discard a wing it. Huh. And that's eight. Yeah, right, I'll take two more. Bong! It's pretty Ooh, there's actually. a locked door. Yeah, it's down these dark secrets. She really likes spiders. Here, because I can so I'll break that door like down for you. in a weird way. So much. Spiders are so fucking cool. Burn back guard. This feels more natural. Perform an infestation test. I got a different thing for you to do too. This webs here. Spiders are hard to kill. Man, there's like no tokens in here. How about this one? This one doesn't do anything, right? No, because it treats this one as a skull. I'm not at an infested. Oh, location. okay, cool, 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 cool. Then yeah, it does nothing. I'm in the emergency room, which is where we were when we found the spiders at the beginning. And it is not infested, I promise. Well, they followed us. All right, uh, let's choose a location to become infested, then all these go back into the bag. Well, I mean, we should do the emergency room, so that makes sense. Like Brent just pointed out. It does. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to bring out this survival knife, perfect for cutting spiders off. Because <laughs> this big bandolier just like slips a knife into it. <laughs> All right. 
All right, let's uh, try to... <laughs> back. Yeah. So everyone else seems to just like, I'm going to shake your sword. So I'm going to just pull out like, a little dinky knife to me. I'll get you. Uh, let's go four to three. It's a knife fight. A knife to meet you. <laughs> Fuck. These spider webs are gone. Good. Let's try to break down this locked door for my friend, uh, you. Thanks, bud. Do you have any fists you can help me on this? Because I'm four to three. Because <laughs> you have a bunch of symbols. <laughs> no, I don't have any fists. Cool, cool. I have a card that gives you everything but fist. Nope. Locked door. Locked. That's cool, that's cool. <laughs> that's it for me. I'll investigate. That's okay, I got, like I said, I got lots of dead stuff to do. Like, put these research garbage back right now. Yeah. This is zero. It's a minus one. <clears throat> It's another minus one. I will ignore one of these minus ones. Get in the basement. <laughs> He's powering up. Over. Your brain isn't dirty anymore. You're yeah, like average. I've got like slightly above average now. <laughs> All right. Uh, what are the odds I can get this arcane initiate killed? It's pretty good. Probably. She doesn't take that much damage to die. Uh, let's spin the arcane initiate. I don't need this. I don't need to make a test. This is a purple card. I don't understand how they work. <laughs> Bird's playing a purple character. Yeah. But um, he's... I'll take this wither, It's I like guess. a fake purple character. Yeah. Man, you guys' decks are so focused and efficient. What? <laughs> I'll gain a resource. Okay, I'm gonna play two occult evidences. Oh man, the odds are 100%. I could just play this <laughs> all over just Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cards and resources. <laughs> what a great turn out. Yeah. Bomb, <laughs> evil card is. Uh, Hey everyone, our, f nice. our feet are worse. Cool. Minus two for feet for this round. Hey everyone, there's spoders. Whatever this does. Okay. Everything's infested. Good. Wow. Night terrors, put in the play in your threat area. After you fail a skill test, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Draw each weakness real this way and move the other cards in the game. Ooh. Action if Night Terrors in your threat area test brain four. After this test ends, discard Night Terrors even if you fail. Okay. Cool. All right, let me try to break this down for you. Yeah, do it up. We have Are five to that? four. Do you have to find two weapons with that? Uh, cool. I'm, I'm all kidding about. Nope. Uh, Let's see. Um, I'm going to get rid of this drawing the sign. Oh, that's me. Okay, I'm gonna test my night terrors. I'm gonna spin this back in this year. Four four. Oh, Draw this is card. a spell. <laughs> Wild. <laughs> you need to break down this door again, eh? No, no. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, I guess. Yeah, yeah here you did your job. I'll play Mr. Rook. <laughs> and I'm going to search the top nine cards in my deck for two cards. <laughs> I'm not sure it seems good. Have you done some research to about how to get past a locked door? Yeah, I did actually. Because it only says they can't. You can't yeah. investigate. Yeah. Um. <clears throat> I have one action left. I'm gonna take you. I'm gonna take you. <clears throat> and then for my last action, Mr. Rook, it's you and me to the end of the world, baby. Put two secrets on an asset I control. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 
got cards and resources? Um, oh, you have to go. I get to play. Yeah, you get to do a turn. Yeah. You laugh at me not doing anything, but I've still gotten a clue like every Rose turn. Or... Oh, no, 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 you're doing things. <laughs> you're just like, you're not playing like normal Arkham Horror. <laughs> no, you're I'm playing just... like. What I'm the... playing my own game. I think I forgot to reveal an infestation token. Because, Bryn, did you. No, that was last turn we did this. This was right. We're good. Engaged with the staff and a hey? Yeah, they haven't shown up yet. I would love some more enemies. But I can't get through this door, uh, so what am I really ready for? Yeah, like, I, guess, <laughs> I guess I'll investigate here. <laughs> Man, this was so much easier when I had all, all the It's probably things. just like a pull door, and you're trying to push it. You're like so kicking it at the like lock. Minus, bunch, minus right? four. Yeah, okay, cool. We'll fail. Uh, uh, if you fail, and it's agenda two or three, you make an infestation test. What? Ruh -roh. That's what mm -hmm. this one is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that one. Number. Okay, how about spiders with you, Bryn? Sure. Uh, you also could choose to do it with me. It's the infest location nearest to any investigator. Justin's like, please give me something to do. Do you have any turns? No, but guard dog's hungry, and he's actually made of bullets. <laughs> he also loves chowing down on <laughs> spiders. Do you want this? Uh, yeah, I can take it. Okay, I could kill two of them, I guess. So can guard dog. All right. Because <laughs> they each attack separately, right? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Just pure value. Is it money card time yet? No, uh, yes. I got one more, but I'm just gonna gain a resource with it. Cool. This guy is gonna attack, kill guard dog, giving me. I'm gonna just put three on her. It's um, real weird when you refer to your gun <laughs> like that. And then the last meat damage will go on me, for I am tank. We should go down here. Ooh, a stab us. Yeah, so let's, yeah, let's go with that. Let's do that then. <laughs> stab him back. That's what it's for. <laughs> you don't sit there and stab things for plus one punch. What's that? You can like shuffle the doctor back in your deck. Oh yeah, this dog goes back into my deck too. That also happens. Yeah. Um, Move this onto your bandolier and drop your knife. <laughs> no, fuck. Uh, you know what? I'm happy with the way things are. Okay. The spider's dead though. Wow. Sick. So what's good. its value? Money card. Sorry. I'm gonna discard it. two for two. Just discoveries to hand size. The value. The value. <laughs> <laughs> I need you to get like some more occult research to get this last clue. Just like, we'll let Mr. Rook do his stuff first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's a lightning bolt. He could just. Yeah, do he it. just does it. <laughs> he's pretty good at that. All right, my card for the turn is this. Remember when we reviewed him and said this card was insane? It's because it is. Yeah, it's yep. like actually because it is. Okay, bong. No, oh. Luke ain't here, man. So if I see two weaknesses <laughs> with this, do I have to draw both of them? I think it just says to draw a weakness. Yeah, but I get an additional search target. Or is that just not what I'm searching for? Uh, I mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> Probably not. I mean, like, one of, the, one of the weaknesses in your deck, if you find it, just cancels the search, so. You're good to go, Brent. Okay. Oh, you're up. Ah, spiders, my old enemy. It's like a door, but easy. Yeah, and it also doesn't really do much right now. <laughs> Because we can just get out of here and like leave this thing I here. will spin Mr. Rook right now. Look at nine cards. Pick two. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a spell. More fuel for the Hellforge. Oh, I have to draw a spider token. Give me that one. Man, can we have a charisma for this deck? Nothing. Give me this one, I guess. No lucky, no lucky five. No, no, not this time. That's fine. Oh my god. <laughs> Doom like on the next one. Eight. Okay. Well. Do I have to kill this arcane initiate now? Because there's some spiders here. And like... Oh yeah, we do want she that. Just die. We want her dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, investigate for your first action, maybe? I want to go first. Go for it. I'm going to play Strange Solution. I'm going to test book four. I'm going to commit. Working on 
damage. So we are on seven. <coughs> seven four. Why wouldn't you just play the working on hunch? Because I want to do this. Uh, <laughs> identified the solution. Now I get to draw two cards. Boom, boom. And then, for my last action, I'll play a kickless. <laughs> That's how many more clues do we need? We have eight, ten, two. eleven. We need two more. I'll get this one next one. I'll throw you 12 cards for Mr. Rook if it makes you feel better. Uh, I'm going to stab Spoder. I'll look at them to determine who they are. <laughs> the book said I could do that. It did. Uh, I'll investigate. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! The spiders <laughs> take her! Oh no! Man, this is so much easier with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go! <laughs> yeah, I almost wish I hadn't chained her to the radiator. <laughs> like, almost. Uh, I'll fight with Twilight Blade, I guess, because we might as well do that. And use my brain instead of my punch. Because that's five instead of the four I'd get to roll with otherwise. Yeah. This is minus sun. Minus four. Good. He's got one fight. I have five brain. Nice. You're right, Brendan. He us this. Fucking sick. Yeah, that deck is sick. <laughs> a character is just sick. Okay, good. That was the turn. Okay, uh, I'm gonna gain a resource. I'm gonna play Beat Cop. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna try to break this door down. This is my last thing. Five to four. Oh, I'll give you. I got a wild one this time for you. Oh, cool. Like Six copy to four. Strange solution. <gasps> yeah, the door's gone. Finally. See if you just butter up. The <laughs> you just butter up the law. You can win it really easy. <laughs> Randy <laughs> says pulling a stick of butter up for a backpack. <laughs> Bong, evil card for me is, oh my god, Glimpse of the Underworld. I'm gonna discard, uh... When you would take damage under horror, take one additional damage or horror. Discard it and uh, take one damage in horror. I discard this calling in favor of hands, so I'm not gonna play that. Would that way. see itself then? Discarding it, would that take the additional damage in horror? Uh, it says discard it first, right? Yeah. I cannot play assets or events, that's like vaguely irritating game. No foot test. Well, I mean, like you're bad though. Yes. Mr. Rook's up. Let's do a book through. Nine cards, two cards. Oh, I got a shocking discovery. Okay. What does it do? Uh, when I search my deck, it's among them. I discard, cancel the deck, search all of its effects, then I draw the top card of the encounter deck. That's oh, a little baby thing. Yeah. I just pawn these off on Justin. Not yet. Give me a little bit of time. What's this? Minus four. Okay, I will take three core. Nice. That was like actually pretty startling. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was actually pretty horrible. Mr. Rook's like, have you seen Goatsy? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bud. <laughs> I'm gonna activate What you're doing is the opposite of help. <laughs> and put a secret on this. And then I guess I'll try and get this last clue because that's what we need to do, right? Yeah, if we get these clues, we mm. do good. I would. I think I would actually like to play the, one of these from <clears throat> under me. To get rid of that. To not have this happen. Sure. I just have one other down. action. I'll just do this a second time. So I can just do it now and be done with it. Bren, you get a good clue? Maybe. Maybe. 14, 15. Wait. 8, 9, 10. Okay. Yeah, I'll try and get this last one for you guys. I'm a team player. That's good. Minus one. Ah, uh, give me that clue. I'm nice. also a team player, but like for a different team. What? A cultier team. Yeah, you're the weird goth girl. Uh, Brent, what are you looking at? You want one uh, of these words? I wanted. To, I wanted <laughs> to like play this arcane <laughs> issue. See if you're done. Wow, I don't have to discard the hand size this turn. What the world? This is just 
fine. Yeah. Brendan, if you were with me, you could have searched five guards. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're not wrong. All the weaknesses are on my deck. There's nothing. I still have half my deck left. <laughs> You're like, what's even in there? Like, it's just a grab bag. Right, let's go. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> well, you know. Oh, I didn't do one of these. Sorry. Maybe I'll have some spiders to dangle with. Nope. Well, you know, if, we, if you're looking at what we got in here, we got like, we got cult lexicons, so we probably have like some kind of tome synergy. Right, you got me good. Which is true. I got these archaic lists, which are also a tome, and items that can go in the backpack. Nice. And then we can upgrade them into this random garbage. Uh, we got Calling of Favors, probably gonna have an ally package. Yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, try again. We got Strange Solution. Uh, we got like normal clue gang things. We got Secrets. Oh, we got Relics. Nice. Alright. We did it. We should advance this so I can then maybe react to a monster that shows up. Sure. Yeah, let's do it. Spend all your clues. Uh, I worked hard. From the this. hospital records and snippets of hushed conversation, you're able to glean that there was recently another patient in the hospital whose condition closely mirrored that of your friends. Oh my god. After being comatose for weeks, the patient abruptly and inexplicably awakened just this morning. Uh, baffled, the doctor has quarantined the patient somewhere in the basement of the hospital below the eastern ward. Put the set aside stairwell and basement door locations into play. If it's Gen 2 or 3, we make an infestation test. If it's somehow Agenda 1, immediately advance to Agenda 2. <laughs> if you did, did this within one, two, dude. Nothing happens. And like, if you're playing with one player, maybe. Yeah, maybe. If you're playing with one player, you're playing, like, unnerved Rex. Uh, if Investigator controls Randolph Carter, we advance. Brynn does in the last one. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... Well, are you done, Bryn? Oh, yeah. There's not much I can really do. Break down this web. Uh, if it's only if an enemy at, at the attached location. Yeah, but it's a soft draw for the deck. That's a good point. Um, it's better than, like, doing nothing. We're going to take... Well, no, I wasn't going to do nothing. Uh, I'll take this. Uh, I'm going to take a... Good job, Pico. Look at those sweet, juicy bullets you got dripping out of you. <laughs> 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 um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll try to break down this web. Five to three. See you later, you dumb web. And then I am going to move. Don't leave me. It's too bad you're Velma, he's Fred, you're, no, you're never. Yeah. You get to go with the dog and this. I'm like also the pretty girl though. Yeah. Yeah, but Velma also, like, you know. Gonna move there. So sorry, buddy. Just don't draw a spider. Cards and resources. <sighs> Suddenly, chaos breaks out in the hospital. <laughs> the sound of chattering, chittering, and crashing emerges from the walls. In the darkness, you can barely make out the shapes of bizarre spider-like creatures scurrying in the distance. As you round a corner, you spot an orderly writhing on the polished floor, convulsing uh -huh. violently as though possessed That's by an insidious idea. force. You rush to his side and flip onto his back and find that nearly all of his face is covered in thick webbing. His eyes are wide and glazed over. He does not react as you shake mm, him. That's not webbing in the art. Find each suspicious orderly enemy in play and replace it with a set-aside uh, corrupted orderly. Uh, do the same with the encounter that, that stuff. And shuffle the set-aside agents of Atla Naka encounter deck. Atla Nacha. Atla Nacha. Uh, and I just each remaining copy set-aside corrupted orderly enemy in the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. We had a skull and a cultist to this bag. Appreciate the nightmare that is that guy's face. Oh, yeah. Uh, these guys also get shuffled in with that. There you go. I have to put another... Sick. <laughs> Why would you do this for fantasy fights? Like, you have to have... Uh, each things. spider enemy at infested locations gets plus one fight and plus one evade. I think I have a million of these left. Nice tight ones. Uh, eight doom. Oh so my we god. Gotta, we gotta go go go. What do you mean I can't just... We got eight turns, that's a million. That is a million. Act two of three. We doing good, we doing good. Um, perform an infestation test. Unless it's possible that he might have to search for some spiders. Yep, and with the spiders. Gone. Thanks. How about that one? The other one was a spider too. Exactly. Like the scary one. Okay. 
<laughs> Sorry, a scary one. There's new scary ones. Yeah, man. Foot tester for losers. Heck yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go first as I do. Uh, I will. I can I do this anytime? Mm -hmm. Yeah, during the mythos phase, I would like to take the damage and the horror, and I'll ignore the horror and put this in the basement. <laughs> Mr. Rook. This is gone. Yes. Nice. I don't need to blow you up anymore. She's like, oh, thank God. I'm still I'll take those. Uh, then I will use my first real action to activate archaic glyphs. And discard a crack the case to it. this enchanted blade up underneath the twilight blade because we're probably never using it again. Nice. Translated. <laughs> no, no, the glyphs. I get five resources. Boom. Uh, I'm going to shortcut into Justin's location. Hello, friend. Hello. So, are we staying here for a turn or should No, we should, we should go. Okay, I will use my. Second real action to move into one of those locations. The stairwell. Yeah, that one, I guess. Uh, after you enter the basement, uh, the stairwell from a non-basement location, move to a basement location. Then test foot four. If you fail, take two damage because you fall down the fucking stairs. That's so incredible. effectively foot six. Yes. Great. Six Thanks. to one. <laughs> uh, uh, you do this. I do it now? Yeah, because you went from a non-basement location. Okay, well, I have three. Don't trip. So, so one to four. Yeah. Do you think we, we ever just possibly considered not diving headfirst down the stairs? Or no. Okay, that would give it to me. So you move to one of these ones, left or right? Uh, left, please. Uh, you fall to the operating room. I take two damage. This is, this, this is what's left yeah. of you now. Uh, as to <laughs> double action, choose an investigator stairs. location and test book four. If you succeed, heal three damage from that investigator. If you fail, deal one damage to that investigator. Oh man, there's medical Shroud of two. I'll operate on you guys, don't worry. Uh, Justin, have one of these damages. This one. Oh, we're not at the same location right now. I have to be at the same location as yeah. Fine. Fine. Okay, don't go. <laughs> I'll kidding. investigate here. Nice. For my last action, I just, hang on, I don't think I'll do. Cool do. Two? I got six. Oh, this should be here too. Boom. Minus one. Give me that clue. Clue is you. Is that it for you? Yeah. All right, we're going to shoot these fucking spiders. But we're going to fucking, like, really shoot them. Yeah, so what if the bandolier is just like some tape that you use to put this on yeah. like a bayonet on the end of back of your life? So we have seven minus, sorry, eight minus two. These spiders are all dead. If you put Becky's scope up to a higher number, it shoots harder. That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I go, let's see if I fall down the stairs. <laughs> uh, I do. <laughs> Spoilers. Uh, so we'll take two damage. Uh, you might have to, you have to draw, because you might draw the culty one. Oh, that's yeah. right. Good call. Justin oh. trying to scum the game. Yeah. Every little advantage. <laughs> um, I probably want to keep you safe. Come to me, friend. I have a present yeah, for you. <laughs> I know what the present is, Travis. Can, I, invite, can I operate on myself? Because that'd be cool. Uh, I'll take two damage. I'll take another damage when you transfer that over to me. Thank you, friend. Um, I have one action remaining. I'm going to <clears throat> draw a card. Do we want to check this out? No, I don't think so. It's probably just more victory, right? I mean... One, two... I like more victory. But these also... Every location actually has victory. I got a lot of trash cards uh, to clean up. So, so good. During my turn, I'm going to play... This is Delay the Inevitable. I guess, like, we'll play it here and then move in here and then test this thing mm. and fail. And... Four to one! Sorry, one to four. Oh, oh come no. On. Yep, we'll fail. Oh, I'll cancel the damage though and put this uh, in the and We must make one of these becomes infested. Uh, when this becomes infested, we must make an infestation test. Wild. That's life. Uh, where do you fall to, Bryn? Anywhere I want? Any basement location. If you come here, I'll set you up. 
We'll fall up here. Okay. Nothing happens. Why don't you guys want me to do operations? Arlen has a brain too. This is a private room. If you succeed, test book two. If you succeed, investigators at this location may spend one per investigator's clue to give control of the set-aside Randolph Carter asset to an investigator at this location. I suppose I was supposed to pull that out of there. There's no clues here. There's no clues here. Guys, I found a thing. Nice. Was that it for you? Yes. Cool, cards and resources, everybody. I think, no, I have, sorry, I have one more because that wasn't actually a move. Let's go back in time, everybody. I'm just going to gain a resource. All right, everybody, cards and resources. Bong, evil card is into your threat area. I don't give a fuck about this. Feet are hard. I'll spin Mr. Corbin soon, that. Nine cards. Um, I'm just gonna like use my dark insight to shuffle this back into the deck. Big double no way. Because nice. it is an encounter card or a weakness. Put uh, this in the basement. I will put this, put this as dying revelation as part of my thing to put a secret on this rook. Nice. And then I get two of these. Who even cares? Uh, I'll investigate this location. It is 62. <sighs> and they didn't even put any icons to so commit this to something. Yeah, cool. Which is good, because it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's the first thing. Nice. I'll take this opportunity to play Crack the Case and give you two resources, Justin. You're welcome. Oh, thank you. This makes up for all the... Then I'll shortcut into a different room. All the bleeding. Uh, to the stairwell? Either. Yeah, sure. And then I'll investigate here, too. Oh, yeah. Shroud of three. I'll commit a deduction. Take two clues. That was a huge thank you. I'm gonna play True Grit and something worth fighting for. Oh, it's like six extra health. And I'm gonna move there. Yeah, it's just it's just a picture of Mandy. Here Go you can have it. Yeah, ways. give me it. Give it to me, buddy. I'm here for you. I'm the support tank, but also I fight things. Yeah, no, you're like a World of Warcraft tank. Yeah. Death is the best. Oh, I have to test this. Uh, did I have to be here? Oh no. I don't do anything. You can't touch my clues. Okay. I worked um, hard for them. I'm gonna grab two resources and play a shriveling. Nice. Noise. Noise. Do you fail skill test? Oh, I forgot to do the infestation test again. Uh. Is that an extra thing? Ah, what if spawn spiders? So one of us has to get spiders, because that changes everything. Uh, I can go back in time and just, because it'll be me. I guess. Yeah. Really, bring Kelso Abbott and just mm -hmm. stab him three times, right? Pardon? Bring yeah, Kelso I mean, Abbott and just stab him. Yeah, I don't have sure. to play a Kelso. struggling, right? Cool. I can just... Thank you. Do something it's else. It's probably a bit easier. <sighs> so I have one at the beginning of this thing. There you go. And there's your two spiders. I will use the Twilight Blade using my brain instead. Because it is a better number. Sorry. Bigger number is uh, there's also, there's now a, uh, a victory spider in here if you want to find that. What's it look like? Uh, four, five, three. Pray lowest foot. You know, it's like, it's like a little spooky. Done. I'm nothing if not. It's three. essentially three attacks, right? Like yeah. so that's we got second copy that in there for you, Justin though. So oh. uh... Yeah, let's get it to him with our Becky, night Becky, blade Becky. thing. <laughs> Minus two, he'll take one. It's getting late, Justin. <laughs> yeah, it's like, I'm hungry. It's 7 30 p.m. Uh, man. Let's do this again. This is minus two? Five. Minus five now. <laughs> Holy right. shit. Well, I'll fail. Let's run it back. I like the flavor of this guy being in, uh... Mm. We have a slight problem. Mm -hmm. Bryn can't get this spider because he's not in an infested area. Oh, okay. Cool, I'll take, I'll take it though. Like, I'll just, I'll, I can watch my turn back. Do you want this one? Yes, please. Okay. Let's just kill him. Becky, you're up! Which means Travis has, like, one damage on him still. Yes, yes. I got back. Uh, vicious Don't blow. Don't you worry. 
So he's a spider enemy? He is. Um, so I have four, six, seven, eight to his five. Cool. Does your sleepy boy thing change anything? Uh, if I fail, a skill test. Okay. Minus one, he'll take three damage. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to do this tripling thing like we The original plan. Yeah. Yeah. My turn to mail? Sure. We're getting better at marrying the rules, though. Yeah. Uh, let's fire this off. Attack this guy. I mean, Justin is mostly, but... Four. Wow, I bet he gets magic bullets. Four, five, six, seven. Sorry, sorry, seven to five. That's not great. That's not great, but we're going to go for it. Boom. Blew him away. Um, Easy peasy. Oh, I'm still here then. Uh -huh. uh, and I am going to play something worth fighting for, I think. Yeah, that's pretty safe. And then we just actually go to end the turn finally. Yeah. Money card. <sighs> oh. oh, fuck. Good thing I have something worth fighting for. I fail. So I'll take three horror. I'm going to take one of it. Something we're fighting for is going to take two of it. Justin. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to load up Becky. I'm coming for you, baby. <laughs> I'm here. I just loaded up Becky. Please help me. Rinse this round frozen. Uh, but I also have to draw, reveal the top three cards of my deck. I draw each weakness, reveal this way, and remove the other cards from the game. So I just remove uh, True Grit, let me handle this, and emergency cash from the game. Pretty soft. I'm going to spend this rope while we're waiting. Sure. Do, 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 do. Big money, double whammy. Wait, what? Oh, that's why that just stays there forever. I'm going to reveal on the Colt Evans. Take the clue here. And then I get two more of these cards, eh? <laughs> Those two. I almost churned through this 50 card deck already. Yeah. Uh, we can probably, uh, you can probably do your turn. Friend just gets frozen here. Sure. Right, and we're not going to interact with him. We're going to move in here. Uh, let's attack this spider. I want to get the last, the clue's not the last basement door before we move on. Yeah, two. definitely, definitely. Uh, so I have four, five, six, seven to his four. You got frozen here, Bryn. Uh, he's going to take two damage. And Becky's loaded to go again. Seven to four. Dead. Thanks, Becky's friend. Here. Oh, I forgot to do this again. I really appreciate you not shooting me. I'm trying my darndest. Uh, you know what? Let's make that, because then we don't have to worry yeah. about it. <laughs> no, you can't uh, those are all my actions. Okay, I'm going to roll into that last basement place. You've walked into the morgue. Sick. As an action, test brain three. If you succeed, discover one clue at this location. If you fail, take one horror. After the last remaining clue is discovered here, we make an infestation test. There are three clues and a shroud of five. Well, I'm going to investigate with my fortuitous discovery for two. Nice. So that will be three clues if I succeed. And I have five, six, seven, eight. It's got five. Well, we're probably going to run out of things there. So we'll commit like this a cold evidence to this test. And so I want to. Ten to five. Yeah, cool. Scree? Mm. Game got us. Yeah. Well, I will investigate again then. <sighs> Actually, I can probably do that next turn. Oh, this should be shuffled back into Five. the deck because that's how Tommy works. I got six. Yeah, I'll commit deduction to this one. So I'm at seven to five. I'm Tommy. Ha ha ha. I laugh in the face of being defeated. So Becky's like the one of the like I could like really start kidding this out and like doing some things with Becky. 
She seems like she's ready for some well maintained. Yeah. She's um, ready for some love. I'll commit yeah. Fat Man to this test because yeah. I don't want to draw it. Give me two clues. Yeah. And that's three actions. Move, try to investigate, and then investigate. Go for it, Bryn. Cool. Cards and resources. I guess. I've got seven. This is minus one. one. There are no staff enemies in this deck. Yeah, no doubt. Boom. Evil card for me is some scurry splittles. How about no? It's locked over here. That's okay. I should have gained a resource and drawn a card. Uh, you'll take over because I hate you. <laughs> mm -hmm. right, I'm gonna try and get the last clue here. This turn. Like no better reason. I'll play Mr. Rook. <laughs> Mr. Rook is confused when he is suddenly being replaced by himself. I'll spend Mr. You Rook. Have seen it coming. Top nine cards, two cards. Six, seven. Give me that clue. Cool. And I'll take you and you, I guess. Sure. Do you want to move into the private room this turn so you guys? Yeah, can I'm gonna get some other attractions walking in there. What was that thing that was like when I get the last clue there? Oh, I forgot to do this. Oh, make an infestation death. So I have to make one for the round. Uh, nothing. Then one for yours. Nothing. Nice. Okay. And Bryn, uh, if you want to try this, I will make your book good. <laughs> I have many cards that can do that. I mean, like, sure, let's fire off a brain test. I have six. The game says it is two. Yep. Too many tokens. <laughs> Minus two. This entire game is just I access. Have a card that I would like to play before this next test. It is a dark prophecy. So I fast, I fast, I play when I reveal a chaos token. I reveal five instead and choose one. Ooh, like one uh, of the one of ones. Must be like one of the bullshit yeah. tokens, if possible. Here's two more books for you. Okay. Because I don't fail tests. You're too good. I am. Yeah. I just imagine that's one of the cards you're like, oh, I need 50. One, two. Oh, this one passes me. Yeah. So I'm going to stop drawing now because this is the one I'm going to choose and ignore the rest. Sure, sure. Cool. All I'll right. Put this into my basement because I can. Investigator. Uh... <clears throat> I would love to have this boy in my deck at the end. Uh, we advance. Draw two cards, man. Two cards. <laughs> two cards. And plus book. And he's an ally. And he's an ally. I could trade him for like a copy of Mr. Rook and Fat Man for one resource. It'd be so good. Uh, after some persuading, you managed to convince the blonde haired man to listen to your story. Once you explained to him what was happening. Oh, did we spend our three clues? We have to spend three clues, right? To do yeah. that? Yeah, we yeah. do. We have to spend like one for. Yeah. That's it. Um, once you explain to him what has happened to your companions, he shakes his head in solemn understanding. I knew this Virgil fellow would cause trouble. If only I'd convince him not to write that story. You ask him what he means, and he lets out a long sigh before elaborating. It's all true. All of it. The Dreamlands is real. Uh, and I believe that it's something that's causing it to merge with the waking world. That's where all this is coming from. He explains, motion, motioning to the spider webs in the corners of the room. With your help, I may be able to temporarily stop the infestation from spreading. Then we can investigate this matter further. He rises from a con and shakes your hand. My name is Randolph, by the way. Randolph Carter. Shelf the encounter discard pile into the encounter deck. What about this guy? Oh, I guess I control him, right? Yeah. Yeah. Orch! That's also like probably just better for us in general. Uh, with the aid of Randolph Carter, you must attempt to close the rifts that have opened between the Dreamlands and the Waking World. Yeah, let's do it up. Okay. Holy shit. What's next? Each invested location gains Test Brain X to attempt to seal the rift. X is the location Shroud. Investigators at this location may spend one Investigator Clues as a group to automatically succeed. If you succeed, replace the damage token on this location with a horror token. For the remainder of this game, this location cannot become infested. If there are no infested locations in play, we advance. Let's do it up. Easy peasy. So... Like, pandemic rules? 
we want to like get this and then like yeah we need this stairwell yesterday so if brain even moves up here and does it like this I can turn move here and try to do it yeah um i have four book that's brain it's a brain yeah oh, <laughs> shit. Okay, never mind then. i got seven <laughs> seven to three <laughs> yeah like this is gonna be not hard no um there's like one token that fails me i'm gonna go choose the five one uh oh no we just have to get the ones that have them yeah okay uh i will commit this yeah. Storm of Spirits, because I don't think I'm going to be using... No, wait, I don't even need to do that. I have one more than that. I have eight. I have eight to three. This is minus six. This one's minus six. Okay, no, I do need that. I do need that. Can mm -hmm. turn me off, Justin? Sure. Minus three. That's good. This is sealed? Yep. So this stone aside, choose a location connected to an infested location. That location becomes... Yeah. Yeah, so that like stops spread, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it for you? Um, sure, I mean like it could be. Oh, do you have one action left? Uh, no, I just have like a fast card in my hand that I could play. I don't think I need to though. Cool. Uh, we're going to shoot these spiders. I'm going to resolve my math after I draw the chip. Minus one, two spiders down. Whoopsie. Um, oh man, I haven't even been doing that? What? Skyrim, this character is so much stronger than I'm giving you the impression that it is, YouTube. Uh, the spider. This is so. This is this is so. Should have been so much more than just. Lola, the cards in the who, do, who gets to ignore this card? Yeah. Um. I'm gonna play some. Read your cards. It's hot deck. What is it? What's the difference? What's your? Uh, when I put a card into the basement, I should draw a card and gain a resource. That's really good. Yeah. It's really good. Uh, cards and resources for the turn. Bong. Spiders are scarier here. Sure. Uh, this is a spider. It's a gray weaver. He's pretty big. Sick. I'm running out of Becky bullets, but... That's okay. You could just have a scalier beef cough. <laughs> He's full of delicious bullets, you see. He is. <laughs> uh, that's alright. I got a shriveling I can fire off. Yeah, if you put some stuff on him... I can probably just kill this guy. I mean, but I think you're better doing this, right? So maybe oh, I take yeah. him, do some damage on him. Hey, Julie! Hi. Hello, and Julie. And then you zap him and go. Yeah. Okay. I did, yes. Uh, Travis, uh, you can get a resource card and then also draw your Mythos card for the turn. Oh, my God. Resource. Okay. Draw a card. Untap Mr. Two cards. Bad card. It's Night Terrors. Oh, cool. I'll grab him from you. Let's shoot him with Becky. Okay. So, are you gonna. I'm gonna go try and do this one so I can get, get sure. clues off of it, too. Uh, sure. So, I have four, oh, we're wandering five, five one, six, seven. I don't wanna go back. Is it an action? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, let's go seven. Seven to five is not great. We're gonna go. Yeah. Cool. We'll take two damage. If I can get there this turn. So he has then two damage. Uh, does that count as him being, is him discarded? Being oh, no, that, no that's the other one. The other one would yeah. do that. Um, so I guess we're just going to fire with my survival knife. Five, six to four, six to five. It's not great, but I believe. <laughs> that's what you get when you believe. Yes. That's it for me. Um, I can give him some Twilight Blade. Yeah, go for it. If you want. Shank him. Um, 
Yeah, let's be safe. I'm also honestly okay with B cop taking it, so I don't draw my weakness and then lose him to that. Okay. So we could you sure. could just go Whatever. and do your other thing. We got six, seven, eight. So this guy's four. He'll take one. I'll move into the waiting room. And I'll run the test here. Nice. Are you gonna do the test here with your clues before you go? Cool. I guess so. Uh, so this is three, we've got one, two. Friends like this is what eight. I was made for. Brain test, do it. And we'll go commit ahead. this Olive McBride to it. Nice. <clears throat> Me had to work. Uh, no, that work doesn't work. That just, if I commit the Olive McBride. <laughs> just, yeah, just <laughs> yeah. yeah, like we just end up in the same place. Ah, whatever, we'll just run it. I can't believe, that's what I did. Uh, there's only like one token that fails me, and that's not it. Cool. I'm gonna do mine and pay three for it. Your clues. Then I'm gonna walk into your space. I'm gonna drop off one of this hard damage. On the beat car. Yep. <laughs> You're welcome, friend. Uh, then I will walk into the waiting room. Tommy's just loading like bits of bone and shit. <laughs> into the, into the We're worried about you, Tommy. Tommy, are you alright? I'm also gonna spin Mr. Rook, cause. Spin, Mr. Rook, spin! Well, I'm in the waiting room, though. For two cards. Eight. Oh, well, I have nine left. It's a stunning revelation. I will put a secret on Mr. Rook. Sick. It's shocked rabbi. <laughs> oh, my God. Gazelle! It's like, oh, my God. Mr. Rook was right. The cards are my deck are all garbage now. <laughs> There's like a Dr. Ellie, there's like another backpack. <laughs> I was trimming out all the cards that do things. Is that it for everybody? Yeah, I gotta discard some cards though. Sure, cards and resources. <laughs> I'm just... Sick, I don't need this anymore. Um, all right. Spiders! Whatever. Sure. Oh, we're dumb. What? Like I was even weaker because we're not. It's only spiders on infested locations. Oh, whatever. Okay. Uh, Travis, your evil card. <sighs> Foot is bad. Okay. And spiders. Uh, we cannot spawn one of these, but these go back in the bag. Good. All right, roll into that uh, experimental ward. All right. Uh, when you investigate experimental ward, you take one horror, and its shroud gets minus two. There are six clues here. In six clues here. On this. Yeah. To dump these off onto me. All right, well, let's do it. Do you require eight? Not unless you can make me get more clues per action. Uh, I can get make me get more clues per action. Well, you can come in here and help me after. I got six to what's the shred here? Four. But if you take a horror, it goes down by two. Eight. So I'm gonna fail by like. One. Oh, I could. Yeah. Inga. <laughs> oh, Minus three. Yeah, okay, give me a clue. And then I get to look at the top. Three cards in my deck for two cards. Do you have an action left? Yeah. Um, may I make a suggestion? To get rid of the thing? Yeah, because then a spider won't spawn on you. Brink can do that, though. Yeah, but what if I'm not going there? What if I'm just resigning right now? <laughs> I'm part of the cult, you see. <sighs> Fine, I'll do the brain thing. I'm looking out for your safety. You can spend clues to automatically succeed. Yeah, I know. I mean, like, okay, fine. I'm just saying. I worked hard for these. You did, but now, but they're doing something. All right, so we do want to probably get these clues. So, like, we can, you and I can hold out in the last one and, like, fight spiders that come and then just get rid of it. Oh, hang on. I have to discard the hand size, so I'm gonna play working on during my turn too. Snap up another one of those clues, please. Thanks. Nice. Um, I'm gonna fight some spiders. Uh, Becky, you're made of goo men. Two down. Well, let's just use the survival knife for the next one. Minus two, that's a dead spider. And then I got a dog! 
a dag. That's it for me. These things are real right. light when you don't have a fail tests. <laughs> um, I kind of wish I did though, so I could like get rid of the rest of my cards and shuffle this. I in. guess we'll move over here and uh, we'll play this right. Tom Muldoon seems like he's very straight, mm -hmm. but like you feel very helpful. Yeah, like, I feel. You're doing good. And I mean, Becky is filled with guts, mm -hmm. so that's nice. Mm -hmm. I don't usually use these guys. <laughs> Becky's full of guts. Um, run out the right of seeking for action number two, and then action number three will fire off right of seeking. Nice. Uh, so we've got, like, lots. Excuse me. Yeah, yeah. do the math after. We'll adjust them away. Would you like to take a horror to make it... What? A shroud of two? Where did I go? I'm holding you. Okay. <laughs> Minus one. Because yeah. there are no staff enemies. I'll lose all the rest of my actions that don't exist, though. Oh, are you doing book things? No, I'm doing a brain thing. Okay. How many clues? You get two? Uh, discover one additional clue. Oh, nice. Nice. You asked for help, and he said, okay. That's good. That means we're going to clear this off and get so much victory. Uh, cards and resources? <laughs> book is trash. Ball. Who even cares? Da, 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 da. Uh, yeah, Bong, evil card for me is, whoa, your art is amazing. Wheel of the Spider Mother. Uh, test brain three, if there's a spider enemy, you cannot, if you fail, you cannot uh -huh. attack or investigate for the rest of the round. Okay. I just got a rolling remains. I have five to three. Oh. I'll just play this. Infestation. No. My card shuffles my I card might get back. some cooler, like Will of the Spider Mother. My card shuffles my card back into the deck and cancels it. That's pretty cool. Nothing Which happens. means I've only got four cards in the basement now. Shit, this is much worse. Don't worry about it. Go about your business. Okay. He's lied. I have no money left. My business is to spin Mr. Rook to get these uh, last two cards. I have nothing to do, so I'm going to come and shoot that guy. I'll put a thing on Mr. Rook. All right. I'm going to go. One, two, shoot man with gun. Um, oh, buddy. Nice. I don't need these withers. They've been rotting in my head. Do you trust me? Because if I miss, you can just damage me. Deal. <laughs> that is so good. I'll take my... Once he has two, does he have any bonuses? He's uh, a he's... spider? No, he's not. But we're not. Yeah, he's a spider. Uh, he's dead. Nice. That's it for me. I will investigate. Then I will investigate again. I got smart stuff that gives me book, right? Give me that last clue. Six. Nice. Now I just have to not die. You well, if you're going to die, die in the waiting room. You can have one of these brain tokens, just in, sure. brain damages, just in case. Because if you die, then, like, that's not bad. I'll move in here. I have another action, thank you. Oh, my God. Okay, fine. Move to the waiting room. Take out the waiting room. If you die there, Doesn't somehow, matter. Nothing, nothing matters. Okay, I'll go in the waiting room, I guess. Yeah, just wait to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll test the brain. Here, go for it. Uh, we've got like a lot. Let's commit this all of McBride's here because we're never playing her. Man, this deck's gonna be sick. I'm gonna have like 15 experience oh, to upgrade cool. it with. It's gonna be beautiful. <laughs> like, probably. It's gonna uh, be like, it's really, gonna be a like not my choices. Like, like 40% of it's gonna be beautiful. Yeah, like we're gonna, I'm definitely gonna charisma. Oh, yeah. Maybe two. Let's uh, try this again. <laughs> we're gonna upgrade some other stuff with your analysis. Yes. I also intend to buy some we'll, ancient uh, tablets, probably. We'll put like one of these into it. Cause I like this Tommy because it it's very much like um, normally you want your allies and to stay in play, but in this one you're like, yeah, fucking send it back. Yeah, I don't need it. <laughs> give that here. All right. Uh, cards and resources. Take a horror and shuffle my cards back. <laughs> I did it, guys. Oh no. Watch Justin manage to die again. Inspiring presence, and here's some something worth fighting for because this game is like over. Six to three. 
Smurfs. So. But <laughs> thank God that's such an easy Fresh choice, Mr. and then the game never decided to give us an additional one. Austin, Mr. Rook, two cards. <laughs> Research ability put a secret on Mr. Rook. Can I make a very friendly suggestion? Yeah. Move up there. It cost me two actions. And use your remaining action to close the infestation. Because well, if I'll we, shortcut up there oh. and use my remaining action to close the infestation. One of my remaining actions. All right, that's incredible. Game. Easy Act peasy. Four A. <laughs> Escape with Rand Randolph Carter turns into a spider. <laughs> <laughs> With the final rift sealed, the infestation ceases. Oh, that's a good. Yes, yeah, 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 that's good. Uh, with the final <laughs> rift sealed, the infestation ceases, and the hospital returns to normal. Good work, Randolph says. Still, I believe this matter warrants further investigation. We don't know what caused this to happen. Your mind, her. Uh, your mind, him. Sorry, that there is also the matter of your companions who still refuse to wake. Um, yes, of course, that too. Come, let us go somewhere private where we can discuss then what our next step should be. Sadly, I do not believe there is anything more we can do to aid your friends here. You don't know if Randolph means here is in the hospital or here is in the waking world, but either way, it does not bode well for your companions. Uh, if Dr. Uh, Mahashvaran joined the investigation and she was in play when the scenario ended, resolution oh. one. Before you depart from the hospital, Dr. Mahashvaran announces that she is going to check on her patients. You decide to join her. You head back to the emergency board and find that your companions are still unconscious. Dr. Maheshwaran checks her, their eyes, takes their pulses, and shakes her head. It's even worse than before. Whatever internal stimuli they're reacting to, they are causing the patient's minds and bodies a great deal of stress. She sits down next to one of her patients and shakes her head. I'll sit here. You go talk to that patient and get the bomb of this, okay? Oh, and if you find more spiders, squash one for me, please. As you leave, you swear to your sleeping friends you will get the bomb of this and save them. Dr. M's alive. Your companion's condition is worse it's worsened. Oh my god. Record in the other campaigns thing. Campaign A's log. Holy shit. This is B, right? Yeah. That the dreamers grow weaker. Oh good. Each game four trauma. <laughs> that would kill me. Yeah. If it was mental trauma. Uh, in your campaign, Log Accord, Randolph escaped the hospital with the investigators. I thought he was a spider when we were killing him. <laughs> with us. Uh, anyone may add him to their deck. I would like him. If our team doesn't mind. He I want him! <laughs> brain and book. Yeah, good. I got all kinds of disposable friends. <laughs> Me too. They're literally guts for my gun. Yep. Guts for the gut gun. <laughs> blood for the blood god. Chained to the waking world. Boom. Skip to resolution five. Well, like this actually a dream quest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wrote it on the wrong one. Yeah. You depart from the hospital with a blonde haired man in tow, and he enters himself more fully. The man, whose name is Randolph Carter, tells you that he is a dreamer, like Virgil Gray and your friends. One with the ability to traverse the divide between the waking world and the parallel dimension that it was created by, is sustained by, and dwells within the dreams of all living organisms on Earth. A realm he calls the dreamlands. I'm just like, you're telling us that Luke isn't just on drugs all the time? <laughs> I don't believe it. It is, a it is a palace of both nightmares and dreams, he explains. And I'm afraid your friends are trapped there as we speak. You ask if there is anything you can do to aid them. Randolph ponders this for a moment, then replies. No. Normally, dreamers can return to the real world simply by willing themselves awake, but for some reason, your friends are unable to do so. If you truly wish to help them, you too must enter the dreamlands and find them. But forcing your way into the dreamlands is not easy. Such paths are usually accessible only to experienced dreamers, and only in sleep. Still, there are some places where the dreamlands touch the waking world, and in those places with the right tools, you may enter the dreamlands in your physical body. I know of such a place not far from here. However... Before Randolph is able to finish his sentence, he's interrupted by a mysterious voice. Victory X. What do you think it is? 16. 12. Okay. 
I was shooting a little high, but that's still a lot. Yeah, that's a crazy amount of experience. Remove the infestation bag and all infestation tokens from the game. There's no need to record them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Chess is like, I'm free. If you're playing the Web of Dreams. Hypnosis. Interlude 1, the black cat. Playing both of them together. Oh, Jesus Christ. Good luck, go. Oh, yeah. As you travel out of the enchanted woods, you pass through rolling green meadows under... We're, like, zipping back to our dream quest people, but... Okay, okay, okay. Under a bright blue cloudless sky, you speak with a blonde-haired man who introduces himself as Randolph Carter for several hours along your journey south. You pass through a town Randolph calls Nur, and over a stone bridge spanning a wide river. Since the man seems friendly and knowledgeable about both your world and this one, you explain him your situation. You had followed the writings of a man named Virgil Gray to reach this strange land in order to see for yourself the truth of his story. There is a place in Ulthar where you may meet, yet meet this man for yourself, Randolph responds. When we reach Ulthar, I'll show you. The town of Ulthar is not quite what you imagined. The border of the town is marked by a cobblestone road separating its quaint cottages from the rolling green meadows beyond. Inside the town, narrow cobbled streets are filled almost to capacity with cats of all kinds and colors, which part as you approach. Old peaked roofs and overhanging upper stories arc over the hilly streets. The entire village seems a haphazard cluster of homes and old-fashioned businesses. As you reach the town square near the center of the village, Randolph stops and addresses you with a youthful smile. Welcome to Ulthar, he proclaims. As I mentioned before, you're quite safe here. There is but one paramount law to keep in mind as you traverse this place. No man may harm a cat. In the town of Ulthar, no man, no one may kill a cat. Given how early packed the streets are with cats, you wonder aloud if this really is a cat or a town run by cats. Not quite, Randolph replies, pardon your words. Though I suppose one might call it the center of cat society here in the dreamlands. <laughs> the reason for the law's existence is a story for another time. First come. I have a feeling we'll find this Virgil fellow you speak of at Anars. Randolph leads you through the town square, which is surrounded by buildings adorned with cat motifs in the form of statues, signs, and even a stained glass window. You eventually arrive at one such building bearing a sign that reads, Anars Place. Inside is a medieval <laughs> tavern filled with long wooden tables. You spot several patrons, three times as many cats. One such patron at the wooden counter feeds one of the cats small strips of dried meat. He is a handsome man in his early 30s with short dark hair, strong jaw, and sharp cheekbones. You recognize him instantly as the writer Virgil Gray. In the back of your mind, you wonder if this chance meeting is merely an act of fortune or something preordained for good or for ill. Regardless, you approach Matt and introduce yourself along with Randolph. Virgil shakes your hand and Randolph's with a joyful smile. Well met, fellow dreamers, the writer says, a hint of boyish excitement in his voice. It is so wonderful to see more fellow believers. I had come so sick and tired of reading about my supposed illness in the papers. You nod your head in agreement and inform Virgil that you intend to find some proof of this discovery to bring back the waking world. Don't you think I tried that, he replies, stymied. Sadly, it is impossible for one who is asleep to bring anything from this realm into the real world. It's all imagination, you see. Ideas, concepts, fantasies. You cannot hold a thought in your hands, can you? Randolph interjects. There is a place in the dreamlands that may hold the proof you seek. I have seen it in my dreams. I visited there three times, each time just a fleeting moment before I was snatched away by the rising sun. But try as I might, I cannot find the way again. I spend many nights searching. Oh, Virgil asks, intrigued. And what is this place? It is a marvelous city, he inscribes, his eyes aglow with wonder. Golden and lovely like nothing I had ever I had seen before or since. A sea beyond the peaks of the unknown mountain Kadath where no one has ever set foot before. There, veiled within the clouds and crowned by stars, lies the onyx castle of the Great Ones. Virgil idly pets the cat on the countertop next to him as he is absorbed by Randall's tail. It is a slender creature with lustrous black fur, dark as the void of space itself. Then we must find this place, even if it does not have the proof we seek. It sounds like the adventure of a lifetime, enough to fill a hundred pages or more. You tell Virgil and Randolph that before you commit to such an adventure, you must return to the waking world and tell your companions about your experiences. Just then, another cryptic, another voice, cryptic and quiet, chimes. Oh, you can't wake up. The eye is upon you now. Mm. You and the others spin your heads around, searching for the source of the voice. The barkeeper, another patron. Then Virgil's black cat stretches and sits up, its piercing yellow eyes reflecting the light of the sun through the window outside. I've waited a long time for you to see Kadash. <laughs> you can talk, Virgil says, nearly topping over his stool as he jumps in surprise. I'm a cat, you dolt. Of course I can talk. Yeah, it's the black cat replies, licking up its paw of boredom. You've met a thousand cats from Ulthar, and now you're surprised? But I thought Virgil, Virgil wipes his brow with his palm. Never mind him, the black cat says, addressing you directly. 
I assure you, you cannot cross back into the waking world until you find Kadap. It is your only way out. Oh. In the meantime, I will return and tell your companions about the quest ahead of you. Oh, that's the one. That one. It hops off the countertop and walks confidently towards the exit, though I imagine their task will be even more arduous. I think she was pretty easy. <laughs> if you're playing both the Dream Quest, proceed to Black Cat too. What shall I tell your friends in the waking world? The lead investigator must decide. Oh, this one's me. We either tell our companions of our quest, our plight, and our peril. The black cat will return to you once this message is delivered. This may put an undue burden on your companions, which would be recording that the black cat delivered news of your plight. We can tell our companions about our new friends and about the dreamlands, which uh, the black cat would share knowledge of the dreamlands. We can tell our companions that they are in danger and that we are safe. The black cat will stay with them once this message is delivered. This might make a quest a little more difficult. Uh, that would be the black cat warned the others, or you don't trust trust the creature one bit. You threaten the black cat when you have to approach your friends under any circumstance. Don't you dare go talk to to Tommy. Record. Okay, fine. Have it your way then. Okay. What do you guys think? I think it should be the one where it's either we're safe or about the friends. I feel like Luke is like so chill about this. He's like, do you think I fucking care? I'm so I'm in fucking Ulthar. <laughs> These cats are sick, man. I think it should be one of those two. Oh yeah, the, the the one that they're safe, they're safe, or also then the one two. Well, no, we're safe, or we talk about our new friend. Uh, I me, think. Yeah. <sighs> News of your plight. How are you, bro? What do you think? I think we should take the one that makes the dream campaign easier because that one has gotten off to a very shaky start. <laughs> okay. That's pretty fair. Whereas, like, this one... We're not going to have him help them then, and we're not going to tell the cat to fuck off. Yeah. That seems like just a mistake. <laughs> um, we shall have... I think Luke would would have the black cat share knowledge of the Dreamlands. He probably loves telling his friends about oh, his yeah. adventures He's in the like... Dreamlands. And he probably doesn't even see this as like a plight. He's probably like, I'm going to go on a sick adventure. Yeah. I've never been to Kadath before. Oh, that's under the Dream Quest, eh? Black cat shared knowledge of the Dreamlands. Man, there is not much space for campaign notes. Proceed to Black Cat 3. Following scenario 1B, the investigators are confronted at St. Mary's Hospital. You must be their friends, <laughs> the enigmatic voice says from above. To your surprise, the quiet voice belongs not to a person, but to a black cat that lounges lazily across a tree branch, hanging over the path outside the hospital. Oh, pick your jaws up off the ground and listen. The cat rises and leaps taut on the top of a nearby fence, walking along with a kind of grace only cats possess. It is one of the cats of Earth's dream. Er, it is one of the cats of Earth's dreamlands. Randolph proclaims, his voice tinged with merriment, as if, like he was meeting an old friend for the first time in ages. How long has it been since I've spoken with one of your kind? The cat's piercing yellow eyes glare at Randolph for a moment before it turns his gaze to you. Sure. In any event, I bear a message from your dreaming friends. Shared knowledge of the dreamlands. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. The black cat tells you all about the dreamlands and about the quest your friends are about to embark upon. Your friends are in a safe place in the dreamlands, along with a couple others. My pet human Virgil is one of them. Yes, that Virgil. I see the looks in your faces. They're also with another dreamer, a man named... Hey, wait a minute. The cat glares suspiciously at Randolph, then yawns. Huh. You know what? Never mind. I have to check on something. This motherfucking cat. With that, the cat suddenly departs. In both campaign logs, record the black cat has a hunch. So, is Randolph Carter a mask? Is like that the lore of that? Isn't? Maybe. I think so. Oh my god, I'm gonna run out of space so fast. <laughs> That's okay. I got so much paper that's not taken up by a campaign log. <clears throat> 
proceed to either's tenor 2a the search for kdath which is one we'll be proceeding to is that is the next one that's coming out or it's near 2b so cool all right well that was the waking nightmare uh pretty uh much better than the first group yeah we we really crushed this one mm -hmm. we got so much stuff in our i mean like two of these things in the campaign longer are actually my fault <laughs> so <laughs> all right we'll see you guys for the next one in a few months but thanks for watching have a good one and as always what do you think of the campaign bye